over the past 25 years has been transforming community and transforming youth um, through the arts, the use of the arts, education, civic engagement, and leadership development of young people, and really allowing young people to be the contributors and the change makers of our community. This is a vibrant community, a thriving community that has so much to offer, not just to the local community of Jamaica Plain, but also the city of Boston. Well, a regular day for at High School Task Force, especially for me, is right after school, I go to High School Task Force, do my homework, and then I go into my youth group, which is Rimuena Acción, and we do exercises first, and then we focus on learning routines and also team building with other colleagues in our job. I think because of High Square, I got into college because they helped me a lot have like one-on-one -on -one mentoring, so I it wasn't like a group of people or anything. Um, they went on my my pace, and um, my mentor was really understanding of what I wanted and what I didn't want. High School Tax Force has been doing a great job for the community, a great job for everyone. You know, with all these programs, dancing, uh, music, it, it's awesome. I'm so proud to have the High School Tax Force in my community. Here in Hyde Square, the arts tell a story about culture. What's particularly Hyde Square over the last 25 years really, really changed, but the, the, the core community has stayed the same. The love for the neighborhood and the investment in the neighborhood, you know, the people might be different, but there's always that strong core over the last almost three decades in this neighborhood. We established a vision for this community up along Center Street and in Jackson Square. At one point, there was there's always something that brings you together. There was discussion of bringing a big box retailer here in the community, and that's when the High Score Task Force and its power of bringing youth together organized the community with the youth to say no, that's not we, what we want. We want to talk about housing, we want to talk about opportunities for kids, we want to talk about cleaning the streets, fixing the lights, taking care of the neighborhood. And as a result of that, the city steps up, the city, the state, and the federal government stepped up its efforts to do a number of things here. very small role in uh, was when Ken and several others came to me and some of the incredibly talented youth of the Hyde Square Task Force came to my office about a year ago, talked about the idea of officially um, enshrining this, the High Jackson Quarter, as Boston's Latin Quarter. We had a hearing on a snowy day at the Connolly Library earlier this winter, um, and it passed unanimously through the City Council. The Mayor signed it as soon as it got to his desk, and now we are officially designated this area that's done. It was driven by the youth of the Hyde Square Task Force. Square Task Force is here to partner with the residents of the Latin Quarter. As we shape our future, we want to make sure that the voices of our young people, the voices of our residents, are reflected in our vision.